This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. A pair of Nokia rumors, maybe a launch date for the next Samsung Galaxy phone. It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. Run them up! Woohoo! I'm Noah Kravitz, editor at large for Techno Buffalo, and welcome to Techno Buffalo on Revision 3. It's Rumor Roundup bringing you all of your tech rumors for today, the week ending Friday, March 16th, 2012. Our own Killian Bell reported earlier this week that Nokia's design chief is spending up to a third of his time these days working on a revolutionary new tablet for the company to launch. Now, it's no secret that Nokia is interested in the tablet space, and why wouldn't they? And Microsoft, of course, now has previewed Windows 8 with the Metro UI that really lends itself seemingly to tablet use. Now, we're hearing that uh, Nokia's design chief, and I'm going to mangle this name, I apologize, in advance, Marco Atasari, apparently told a Finnish design magazine that he's spending up to a third of his time these days working on a tablet device. We're all expecting it to be Windows 8. There are rumors going around that it's going to have a 10-inch display, a Qualcomm, probably a dual-core processor inside there. But apparently, Nokia's design chief, other Nokia folks, have gone on the record and said, you know, time and time again, that they're not going to do something in the tablet space unless they can really do something interesting and, you know, revolutionary, so to speak. Frankly, at this point, we'd expect nothing less, considering, you know, how Microsoft has just kind of done a 180, kind of reinvented their whole design language with Metro, and again, you know, the Windows 8 previews we've seen, and Nokia, always known for for making quality hardware, the N9 that turned into the Lumia series form factor, the Industrial Design of those devices is top notch. Look for big things from Nokia coming sooner than that. The Nokia Lumia 900 LTE edition for AT&T will be appearing on AT&T store shelves. Techno Buffalo's own senior mobile editor Todd Hasselson reporting earlier this week that an, somebody claiming to be an AT&T retail store manager popped up over on the forums of tech blog The Verge. What's up Z Power? And uh, said that they're expecting shipments of the phone to go on sale April 8th. The phone is expected to hit retail outlets, possibly including Microsoft stores, sometime in the early to mid-April time frame. Of course, Nokia has now gone ahead and launched their PureView camera technology on a Symbian device. So now all the hardcore Nokia heads are like, eh, Lumia 900 seemed awesome at CES, but now we know this PureView stuff's coming, and that's gotta be coming in the next generation of Windows Phone devices from Nokia, right? So maybe we should wait until later this year. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Just like Dwight Howard. So many, so much indecision around there. I'm telling you, Andrew Bogut, get that ankle healthy. We're waiting for next year, man. Until then, lose, Warriors, lose. We'll be back in a moment with more of the Roundup after this word from our friends at Netflix. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, which I am, I'm not getting paid to say that. I'm, I'm reading the ad read, but I've been a Netflix Unlimited member for a while. So, you know, true testimonial there. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii console. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, and cancel anytime. In my house, we watch Netflix on the iPad, we watch Netflix on the computer, we watch Netflix on the Apple TV in the bedroom, and we watch Netflix on the, uh, was it, it's an LG Blu-ray player with uh, the, the Wi-Fi connectivity. We watch Netflix on that jam, in the uh, living room. So Netflix coming, you can watch it on so many different devices these days. For a limited time, you can get a free 30-day trial membership to Netflix. Just go to netflix.com slash buffalo and sign up right now. Be sure to use that URL and they'll know we sent you. And oh yeah, if you're in the UK or Ireland, our viewers there can get the same free trial as the folks in the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash buffalo or netflix.ie slash buffalo. And last but certainly not least, from the land of Samsung smartphone rumors, I'm gonna read the lead to this article and I'm gonna read directly from Brandon's article because I like the first line of his article. Quote, I wouldn't be surprised to see a spin-off of Animal Planet's Finding Bigfoot series called Finding the Galaxy S3. Seriously, Samsung's Galaxy S3 was said to be uh, ready to be launched in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. Didn't happen. Instead, we got uh, some additions to the, the Galaxy Tab series. We got the Note 10.1. And then there was talk about uh, a special Samsung event coming. That hasn't happened yet. Now, apparently, there's a render of the device online that uh, shows the device off. And there is also 
a uh, date, March 22nd, shown in the photo. Beyond that, legendary Russian mobile tech blogger Eldar Murtazin, his track record's been a little spottier lately. He used to be the king of uh, leaks in the mobile industry. But apparently Eldar is tweeting that the Galaxy S3 is ready to go and it will use the ceramic materials in the uh, industrial design that have been rumored. So March 22nd in the photo, does that mean anything? I don't know. We're still hearing June for an actual ship date. And uh, you would imagine there's gonna be a fleet of Galaxy S3 devices, each with different names. We talked about some code names last week. You can check that out. Sprint will probably get the Galaxy S3 Super Epic Deluxe, Deluxe Touch. Touch it again. Touch it one more time. Hit me, baby. HD 5004G LTE Deluxe Avec Fromage. Because they like those long names. All right, that'll do it for this week's edition of the Roundup. Go Warriors. Tank the rest of the season. Get a high draft pick. Start over next year. And uh, enjoy those new iPads, those of you who bought the new iPad. We'll have lots of coverage of all that stuff, those new Apple products, over on technobuffalo.com, on all the social media outlets, and of course, on Rev3 and YouTube. Till next time, my name's Noah. Thanks for having me. Don't forget to round them up! Woohoo! Are we on? Hang on one second, sorry. I gotta be ready for the show because I wanna have all my rumors rounded up in one place. So here's what we wanna do. We wanna remove the glare from the shiny bald head of the star.